All right. God bless you. God bless your heart. Go to the book of Timothy. Timothy. Go to the book of Timothy. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Timothy. Timothy. Chapter number three. Second Timothy chapter number three at verse number one. Just know also that in the last days, peerless times shall come. For men shall be lovers of themselves. Let, let me halt right there for a bit. Lovers of themselves. Yeah. Same sex love, same sex relationship. But but greater than that, men love themselves. Men they think about nothing, nothing but them. They hate God, but they love themselves. They love themselves. Covetous, and that, that's it. That proves they love themselves. They want they covet what you got. And in the church world, your mind. Bolsters look at them both on themselves. I, I even heard some big the food preachers. They do they they do something they say I, I heard them say now now y'all give me a hand. I never had nobody give me no hand. Talk about what they are, what they are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not giving God the praise. My God, it was okay. Hallelujah. In the book of Acts, got eaten up by worms because he wouldn't give God the praise. He wouldn't give God the glory. He got eaten by worms. I believe it. I believe I better go get that. Yeah. King eaten by worms. All right, go to Acts chapter 12 and verse 18 and read on down verse 25. The king was eaten by worry for a reason. He wouldn't give God the glory. Ah, we, I better go get that God note. The, the title of this uh, 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 lesson, your pastor and you have departed from the faith. You and your pastor will not endure sound doctrine. That's what we're dealing with. Hey, 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 hey. I need to go get this. Acts 12. Hallelujah. Acts 12. Hallelujah. Acts 12. Ooh. Ooh. Acts 12 and verse uh, number 20 inherent was highly displeased with them that when he had locked up the apostles if they if God freed them, God let them, God let them loose. If they were gone. Hallelujah. Verse 
Verse 19, and when Herod had sought for him, found him not, he examined the keepers and commanded them that they should not should be put to death. And he went down from Judea to Caesarea and there abode. How y'all let Peter go? They didn't do that. Jesus cut him loose. Jesus let him loose. The Holy Ghost let him loose. Let him loose. And Herod was highly displeased with them, a time sighted, but they came with one accord to him, having made uh, Blastius the king table of their friend. Desired peace because their country was nourished by the king's country. And upon a set day, a certain day, Herod, arrayed in royal apparel, set upon his throne and made an oration unto them. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to show you something. I'm getting ready to show you something. Don't y'all let these folks get you killed. Let these folk put you up. Don't let them get you killed. Yeah, 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 yeah. My God, you better, you, you better, you better tell her. Oh. And the people gave a shout, saying, "It is the voice of a God and not of a man." Boy, he was up there. They, they put him up there, right? He he didn't say he was at. They said. He was at. They said this is the voice of a God. This ain't the voice of no man here. Yeah. <laughs> and immediately the angel of the Lord smote him because he gave not God the glory. It was eaten by one that gave you up the goal. He didn't give God the glory. Uh, let me hear, I, 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 will, I don't care if you say, I don't care if you ain't saved, you give God the glory. God reigned on the just and the unjust alike. In Matthew chapter 5, God is kind to the evil and the good. Uh, Call the rain to reign on the just and unjust. Whee! Yeah, 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 yeah. You give, if you ain't saved, give God his glory. Don't you get in trouble. Don't let these folk get you in trouble. Oh, woo, this is a great man. Dude. Oh, this man is so great and blah, blah, blah. Oh, he's all that. And he's, all, he's the greatest of all men, of all Christian men. <laughs> That's too high. Jesus said, you all brothers. I told them that at the assembly I did. They felt some type of way. I don't care. We got the greatest bitch in the world. You better watch your mouth. Don't get these done by one. Watch this. Go to the 10th chapter of Acts. <laughs> when Peter went to Cadillus. And they saw Cornelius. They saw Peter out. Acts 10. And verse 25. And then Peter was coming in to Cornelius. And Peter was coming in. Cornelius met him and fell down at his feet and worshipped him. But Peter took him up saying, stand up. I myself also am a man. Don't you wish it be. In the book of Revelation, the angel told, uh, I believe with John, to, 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 to wish him God. <sighs> Me and lovers of themselves. They give themselves all the glory. They don't give God the glory.
proud, blasphemer, disobedient the power, unthankful, unholy, not evil thank. I don't care what you say or not say I, I was here on the, today is Monday on Labor Day. I was over to Burrell's house. And he ain't saying. But he had sister though with you. Hey! When he got ready to eat, he bowed his head and closed his eyes. And thank God for his food. I don't care if you ain't saying. You give God his glory. If God got you alive. If God be you. Hallelujah. Unthankful, unholy. Your show sure ain't holy with sin. They tell you ain't no love without sin. Oh, that was your pastor tell you. And you agree. Without natural affection. Truth breaker. False accused. Incontinent. Fear despise of those that are good. You hate the good people. Traitor. Hate the high body. Love of the pledge more than love of God. Your love pledge. That means you love yourself. It's all about me. You ain't concerned about nobody else. It's all about me. <coughs> Having a form of godliness. A form of godliness. A form of God. Form. Go to church. In the pulpit. Got a robe on. Call himself a preacher. A form of God. A form of godliness. Romans 10. Form of God. Ah, Lord. Romans 10. I give all God, God all the glory and honor. I ain't giving no man no glory. None. Yes, men have have did did right. Some men have did right by me and uh, taught me things and all that. And I thank them for doing that. But I'm giving glory to God. Watch it. What did, what did we just read there? Having a form of godliness. Now they go, let's see what the form of godliness is. Ten and one, wrong. Brother, my heart desire, prayer to God be his religious that they might be saved. Not bad the record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they be ignorant of God's righteousness. You're ignorant of the righteousness of God, going about to establish their own righteousness and have not submitted themselves to the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of law for righteousness sake. All right, you that say the law still in effect, the law still required, will obey, rob God, keep Sabbath day, give first fruit, all honor the Lord with the first fruit. All right, you. Christ is the law. But you still say, do all that stuff. You have a form of God. You have a zeal of God, but you have no knowledge. So wait a minute. A lot of y'all got the knowledge, but you're hell bound. Now let's go back over here to 2 Timothy 3. A form of God denying the power thereof. The power of God. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. In Romans 1, 16, 17, 18, 19. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God of the salvation to everyone that believes. The power. The gospel is the power to take away your sin. Remission of sin. Change you from a sinner to a saint. Save to the utmost. Make you perfect. Forgive your sin. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Remission of sin. Repentance and remission of sin without the deeds of the law. Romans 3.28. Luke 24, 47. Oh, my God today. 
You deny the power. You don't, you don't, you have the knowledge. A lot of y'all have the knowledge, but you rebellious. You want to do a sound doctrine. From such turn away, get away from them folk. Wait, turn away from them folk. And don't you let them in your house. Ever learn it? Wait a minute. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sin and led away and die with love. You preacher run around here sleeping with the women. With the silly women. Ever learn and never come to a knowledge of the truth. How can we bring you the truth? And you, wait a minute. And we bring you silly women the truth too. And we bring you past the truth. And you missionary the truth. You women of God true, men of God true. You bishop and apostle, we bring you the truth. And you can't get it. You don't understand it. Ever learn it. You don't understand it. You can't get it. You can't grasp it. This you, this you, now go to chapter four, go to chapter four and one. Oh, um, second Timothy. I charge thee, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead and the pit and his kingdom, preach the word. I gotta preach it. I gotta preach it. You, you can't stop it. I gotta preach it. I, I, I'll give out, I'll give you, they'll put me up on no more to preach in y'all church. You gonna hear it? My God, you hear it already. Preach the word, be as this is our seed. Reprove, yeah, we go correct you. Rebuke, yeah, we corrupt rebuke the bishops and the pastor. Yes, we do. Exhort with all long of the doctrine. If we exhort you, hallelujah. Pray God and we and we suffer long with you. We ain't threw you away. We ain't gave up on you. We suffer long with you. With doctrine. Exhort you to follow doctrine, to preach sound doctrine. But after their own lust, for the time will come when they would not endure sound doctrine. That's where I wanted to get to. That's your pastor. That's you. That grand old church of God in Christ. Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, apostolic faith. Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal, whatever you call yourself. That's you. You want to do a sound doctrine? Hallelujah. Ah! We preach the word. We preach the word. And you want to do it? We bring it to you. You want to do it. You want to do it. But you keep yourself teachers having this need. You get those that going to tell you, that going to preach to you smooth thing. That they going to tell you to. That you get those that going to tell you, well, don't worry about what. Like the single tank. Tank ain't no preacher. Talk about the, talk about the only thing, the only or uh, or uh, uh, thing that we require to do and believe to you die die and roll again. You don't believe to you die and roll again. If you did, you obey it. Huh? We bring you a truth about tying it off. And all you lying pastors, you although we bring it to you, you get you got you got it, God knows. Don't let me call your names. I saw your names on the video. You bitches and pastors. I saw your names on the video dealing with that. And that liar. Patrick Wooten. Looked right in the camera and told a lie. And said the Levitical tight is still for the test today. Patrick Wooten is a liar. And all other pastors that say that, even some that, well, the law is good, you are a liar. God didn't take away your law. You are a liar. 
glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God today. Time to go when I do a sound talk. You ain't to do it. We preach it, but you ain't to do it. Man, I preach it. I preach to people. I preach to whole classes. A class of brethren and preachers. It is a class. Amen. You're right. Amen. You're right. The bishop guilty. Uh-oh, they guilty. Then you get right up after 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 agreeing with the Bible, and you get right up and go to agree with wrong. But I'll bring all the ties to the storehouse. Uh -huh. You get right up and say, ain't no Bible without sin. I had one preacher tell me, the Bible don't say repent. You are a lying wonder. This, he said, this don't say repent. Yes, it do. Romans 10, 9, 10, with the heart, man, believe you want to write it. That means repent. You believe Christ will make you right. And you got to repent because Christ said repent. Repent of every middle of sin, Luke 21, what said. All it ain't about what. You know what that means? Keep sinning. That's what it means. Keep sinning. God ain't going to do the court I went. Oh, preachers say that. I had to correct and rebuke them. Preachers say that. And that's why the folks still doing evil work. You still sin. You ain't telling them to repent. If they shall turn away their ear from the truth, you turn away your ear from me. I'm giving you the truth. But you turn away your ear. Jesus Christ is the Son of God, but you turn your ear away from that. You say God Himself came down here and got in the body. Jesus is God. Jesus is the ball. You turn your ear away from the truth, God no. Well, ain't nobody without sin. You turn your ear away from the truth. Ain't nobody perfect. You turn your ear away from the truth. We told you. It's too late. You know too much. And the word gonna do what it's supposed to do. It's going to save you or damn you. Send you to hell. All the word going to do it to all. They shall turn away the ear from the truth and shall be turned under faith. Turn, uh, turn, uh, turn unto false doctrine. Seed sowing. Turn unto give the false prophet God's speed. Bring the false prophet among us. Money line. Hallelujah. Inaugural ball for the bishop pay hundred fifty dollars a seat and two hundred dollars a seat. You devil, you God ain't in that. Pay registration for me to hear a preacher. Hallelujah. God don't see your sin, he see the blood. You lying devil pastor you. Don't the blood cover your sin, the blood cleanse you from sin. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know your pastor isn't doing sound doctrine. You turn to, we preaching it. The few of us preaching it, you turn your ears away from it. Now, a lot of those believe it. Some believe it. They haven't turned their ears away from it, but they but they not vocal. They not up before the public preaching and teaching. Yet they believe it. Yet they are with it. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Glory to God. Glory to God. You and your pastor don't do a sound doctor. One person say you go depart from the faith. You sure did that. Galatians five four. You preach the law. You departed from the faith. Galatians two sixty seven eighteen nineteen. You preach the law, tie the law with circumcision, any part of the law, you departed from the faith. You make yourself a transgressor. Oh, you departed from the faith. You turn away your ear from the truth. Oh, don't listen to Dunlap. But Dunlap bring you the word of God. Dunlap ain't bring himself. Someone contact me on YouTube today. About two hours ago. 
You say, I don't think that what you said is right. And I told him, it don't matter what you think. The Bible right. Can you read? And they say, yes, I can read. I'm a minister. The Bible don't say that. I say, hold it. Be well, minister. I gave scripture. Now you go read the scripture and you be well. God see you, minister. Is what the Bible says. <laughs> you turn away your ear from a truth, you and your pastor. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. Thank God for all that I hold in Jesus' church. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, that's enough of that. God bless you. Thank all of you for being.